This is basically what the tread is always like. Steep drop. I'm not sure if it comes across in the camera. On either side. So you're basically just walking along this ridge line. Just this time with some pretty flowers. Got to say, after being stuck on top of a mountain for two days in a cloud, basically, it's wet and uh, not really much to see. And I was kind of bored of the same old, and now I'm here. There's a stream down there that was pointed out at on the map. Um, I came from over there. These mountains came down this track. Just this little valley. And I came up through this field to see if I could see anything interesting or where to camp rather because on the trail it's really difficult you've just got a sheer not a sheer but you've got a drop on either side um, so there's nowhere really to camp um, but then I found this little baby there were some other places like this but they had stones and stuff on the on the floor easy I put up my tent over there and to make it even nicer my door opens out up onto a stream it's the best stream that I've actually seen so far it's almost big enough to wash my clothes that would be really awesome I reckon I could do it in one of these little pools down here yeah, do it on a rock down there. Nice fresh water. Obviously, I don't know what's upstream of this, but as it comes down straight from that mountain up there that I came from, um, I'm going to assume it's okay to just wash my clothes. And then, of course, I'm going to treat it for drinking anyway. But I'm really excited about this. I know it's probably probably somebody's land but it doesn't use look that used so I'm just gonna go with that pork noodles with added sausage mmm god this is so good it's a bit spicy it doesn't taste anything like apple I don't know what it is but it's really good Whatever this is, I'm getting this again. This is so good. It's so sweet and spicy at the same time. The right amount of spice for me. I've got a high tolerance of, for spice. <clears throat> and I find it more spice than actually anything else I've had in Korea. So if you don't have a high tolerance for spice, I would imagine this would be quite hot for you. But for me, it was just right. It's only the third day, but I'm already feeling kind of lonely. It's weird not to have like, <clears throat> The ability to have contact with anyone. It's, you know, I, I suppose in in some ways it's nice because not to not have contact, but just like to be disconnected is nice. To have time to be bored. To read. Just spend a lot of time just sort of sitting. Maybe it's because I'm tired as well, but you just kind of ponder or just. I know, life goes kind of slow, slower than normal. I'm not sure how I'm going to be after two weeks. Like I, I like hiking, but well, it's become more than just hiking. It's more about, because I don't have maps and ability to know where I'm going to get food and water and where to camp, um, it's more about actually like where am I going to sleep, how am I going to get food and water and it is about hiking I mean I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind cutting it early and just, I don't know, maybe doing a week of hiking and then go back to Seoul or something I don't know, maybe if I get like a a Wi-Fi connection or something at the town um, I could buy mobile data and then if it's Sunny, it's been raining the last bloody two days, 
which I thought would be good, like over, well, at least overcast, not raining. Um, so it wasn't so warm when you're hiking, which it's not, which is good. But then you can't charge your phone, so like this battery is about to die. And I've got my other phone, but I can't really, it hasn't got as good a camera. Um, but if I had a SIM and I could charge the phone, then I could make calls and stuff, that'd probably make, make it a little more fun. I think I might do that. Those other bits, those were just the, the nice bits that I wanted to film. This is actually what it's like day in, day out. A heavy backpack, got a steep hill and lots and lots of fog. Although it's not actually fog, I think it's, um, I'm in a cloud, I'm at the top of a mountain. But it's very damp. My clothes are completely drenched, not because of the rain or the fog, or whatever, but because I, they stunk and I washed them in a stream. Um, I thought they would dry quicker on me than off me, because as you can see, they're not going to dry naturally here. So I'm hoping I'm going to get to a, a motel soon, maybe in about seven kilometers or something, um, where I can charge my phone, get SIM, SIM card, um, contract renewed, and dry my stuff or wash my stuff and then dry my stuff. That'd be lovely. Get some food, some different food, not some trail food. Whew, so many false peaks. Every time I got to one, I thought, I'm at the top now, and I wasn't. But I could only see like maybe 50, 50 feet or something in front of me each time. So every time I looked up and there was a peak, that was like, I thought the peak of the mountain, and it wasn't. Turns out it was right here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it says 1,278 meters, well, 0.6 meters, which is, I think, the highest mountain that I've climbed so far. It was quite, it was quite a trek up here. Hopefully, from now, it'll be more or less downhill. There is a another peak coming up um, where I'm going to take a detour down into a town to go to the motel. Um, but hopefully that's like mostly this is downhill and then maybe a tiny bit up and I'm there so that fingers crossed but I thought I would take a moment just to, to appreciate making it up here as I was getting so irritated every time I got to our bloody little peak a local maxima and it wasn't the right one and now I'm here thank god just had this looming out of mist at me it's quite an imposing sight I think I'm near the um, very last peak where I'm going to descend down to go to the motel. It said 3.3 kilometers, I think. And I'm sort of taking what I think is a shortcut, so hopefully it'll be sooner. Science of civilization. Gotta say, it's a welcome sight. This is the most enjoyment I've had walking for a while. Like it's quite tough walking on concrete. Um, you can definitely feel it on your feet. I'm quite tired. And it's all downhill, um, but it's uh, it's really beautiful. It's the most scenic it's been for a while. Before it was just in a forest, so nothing on either side, and then also in the clouds, so nothing beyond about fifty feet. And even when you get to somewhere that isn't forested, where there could be a view, um, because of the clouds, because you're in a cloud, you can't see. Um, and you have no specific destination other, other than just to walk until I don't know you find a good camping spot around the time that you want to stop. Um, whereas this, I have I have a goal in mind. I have a hostel, to, well, I hope uh, a motel I want to go to, um, and it's actually it's really beautiful walking down this road. It looks like one of those really beautiful pictures of um, a foggy, perfectly paved road in the middle of nowhere. So it's having kind of a bit of fun and you can see like if you look up where I've been um, the forest just like in the clouds and it looks beautiful from here it's just kind of kind of boring when you're actually in it hmm. wonder what I will do to spice it up down 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 when will this end? I'm definitely getting a bus or a taxi or hitching, I don't know, I don't care.
but I'm not walking back up this. Okay, so I think I'm at what is the bus stop. The actual bus stop seems to be behind me, over there. But there isn't one on this side, which is the side going towards where I want to go to, which is Muju, um, or Bonjou, or something like this. I think that's what the guy said when I showed him it on the map. So I'm hoping that the bus would actually stop here. I'm hoping that the bus will go directly there, because I don't have any data anymore, so I have no idea how to get there except to get this bus. Okay, well, I've just got in my hotel room, or motel room. Uh, I only had 3.5 stars <clears throat> on Google, um, but people said it's adequate for the money. Oh, one sec. Okay, well, that was the um, receptionist. <laughs> Apparently the uh, things that go over the air conditioning weren't on. So you run in here, grab them out of there, and then put them on. It seems like the motel is pretty much empty. Anyway, as I was saying, it cost about 40,000, well, it cost 40,000 won. Um, very basic, I think. Bathroom. I mean, looks clean enough. Bedroom. Heating. Ashtray. Big TV. Um, Wi-Fi. Good stuff. This is the view. Hmm, this is a great... No? This view of the mountains, that there is the National Park. I can't remember what its name is off the top of my head. I'll put it down below. All in all, I um, I like the town. Seems, uh, seems nice enough. I think it's like generally for skiing and people going to visit the National Parks. So kind of have has everything. Like I was sitting in a Paris baguette a little while ago. So I can only assume that in the event of a fire, we need to break the window and climb down using the rope. Well, I've never seen that before, but why not? Okay, well, today has a bit of a different feel to it. I am in a motel room and I went to a Korean fast food place called Lottie, Lottia rather. Basically like a McDonald's, you get your Coke, of fries and select of mostly beef burgers, I think, um, but also some chicken burgers uh, and then some like more Korean y style stuff. But I have your chicken burger called a T Rex. Um, I'm starving. I haven't had a burger for ages. I did go to McDonald's, uh, not. Uh, I went to KFC in Seoul and the burger was fucking terrible. So I'm looking forward to seeing what this is like. Well, it's a lot crispier. Hmm. It's very bitty. There's not good chicken mix. Seems like there's cartilage and yeah, there's not good 
good piece of chicken. Mm. Right. Christ. Never had anything like that before. Let's try the chips out. Um, not too salty, well not, it doesn't taste like much salt at all actually. They're quite cardboardy, I mean it is, you know, I, I just walked back to my hotel, it's not that far. So maybe they got a bit cold, but no, they're not, they're not cooked enough. The final, redeeming, can you redeem it, Coke? Oh yeah, they didn't ask me what I wanted, they just assumed to Coke. That. Wow. What an absolutely terrible meal. <laughs> All right then. Well, I'm starving, so whatever. Don't believe it. I just don't believe it. The sun is out.